Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel. A lot of people were asking to do a review of a C-Class. So I have the 2020 Mercedes-Benz C Cabriolet. So let's start the full in-depth review. So today I'm here at Avi Trading for the in-depth review of the 2020 Mercedes-Benz C-Class Cabriolet. So I'm going to start with the front fascia of the car. The width of this car is 71.3 inches. And let's start with the grille. So, a lot of people asked on my previous video, that was the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, that do a C-Class review. But the 2022 C-Class isn't available in Bangladesh now, but it's going to come soon. So that's why I decided to do the old C-Class. And on my previous E53 Cabriolet review, a lot of people were asking for a C Cabriolet. So I matched those both of comments and I asked Avi Trading for the C Cabriolet and doing an in-depth review of it today. So, the C-Class starts from the C200, that is this variant. And then you have to get the AMG line, that is this. So with the AMG line, you get these pin grills with this chrome accent, Mercedes-Benz logo with the radar, and you have the Mercedes-Benz logo up here with the star down here. Great looking car. You have orbitating number plate here with six sensors at the front with your front tow hook and chrome treatments all around the car. And this car is very aerodynamic because look here. These are actually functional. It, the air goes here and it comes out from this part. So this car is actually very aerodynamic at the front. Now I'm going to get inside, turn on these multi-beam LED headlights. Then let's explain what are these lights. Put on the brake, pressing the start button. Lights are on. This is the full light with the hazard. High beam, high beam off, high beam, high beam off. So, this generation gets two headlights, the normal LED, and if you get the exterior lighting package that this car has, you get these multi-beam LED lights. This is your hazards and your daytime running lights. This is your main projector setup, and you have these two identifying lights that you can understand if it's the C-Class, the E-Class, or the S-Class. Because the previous generation of the Mercedes-Benz sedans, it's the eyebrow that matters. But on the new one, it depends on the projection that how many projector setup does the car have. That's it for the front. Now, let's check out the engine. So for showing the engine of the car, I have to open the hood from the driver's side. So there's a button on the driver's side. I have to just lift this up. And then there is a little slot that I have to just press to get this hood up. And there, hydraulic struts, first sign of a premium level car. So this is the C200. So it gets a 1.5 liter single turbo inline four cylinder engine. That is this. But if you get the C300, you can get a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. Or if you can, if you want to get an AMG version of this, it starts with the uh, C43 that gets a three liter turbo, the same as the E40, E53. Or you could get the 63 or the 63S with the handcrafted four liter V8. So in Bangladesh, we get the 1.5 liter hybrid turbocharged four cylinder engine that is this particular vehicle it has 203 horsepower 300 newton meters of torque to give you the enough power you need from a mercedes-benz starting vehicle and it's rear wheel drive so you can have some fun it has a 9g tronic transmission if you guys come closer you can see there's four signs it depends on which cylinder how many cylinder your car has so this is a four cylinder that's why it's identifying it's a four cylinder you put your engine on from here, your Mercedes-Benz star. And this car is a single turbo. So this is, feeds air, feeds it into the turbo. So it goes all the way here, it wraps around here. And then if you can see from this little gap, you have the turbocharger and the exhaust manifold right there. So you can actually look through your engine. I like what Mercedes-Benz has done here. On this car, the battery is actually at the back, but if you want to jumpstart your car, there is a positive slot on this side, right here. And negative slot is just something that's aluminum. And you can pour your windshield wiper washer from here too. So that's going to be it for the engine. Now let's close the hood. So just get it closer, just tap from both sides. There we go. Now let's check out the side profile. So the car's length is 184.5 inches. Let's show you guys the wheel. So. With the AMG line, it starts from 18 inches that this car has. 
So these wheels are 225 45R18s. 18 inch silver wheel that is very iconic for this car. It has four piston brakes at the front with ventilated calipers and the disc are 13 inches at the front. It has adaptive suspension at the front that's trod with coil springs. Very, very incredible car. Now, if you come a little back, the car's side profile, it's stunning. You can see all the fenders, it's very wide. It just looks very aggressive for a starting Mercedes-Benz car. So then the wheelbase of the car is 111.8 inches and the car's ground clear is 3.5 inch. It is decent for a convertible sports car. Now, there's a cool features for every convertible and the C-Class has it. In a lot of cars, you see you want to open the top, but from the outside, you know, when you're getting inside the car, you just want to tap some button on the key for opening it. So Mercedes-Benz gave a feature. So if you want to open the hood of the car, so what you have to do, press the unlock and then keep holding it. And then the hood is going to automatically open. There, such a cool feature on this car. And the windows also open when you want it to be open. So there, I'm gonna keep it closed for the moment. So because it's a convertible, it obviously gets frameless doors right here, and the front and the rear windows do open. That's it for the center side profile. Let's talk about the rear wheels now. So the rear wheels are 245 40R18s. Because this is a rear wheel drive car, that's why in the back you have adaptive suspension with multi-link coil springs. And a disc, but the caliper is a little smaller than the front. It has a limited slip differential for handling the traction of the car and that's pretty much it. Now let's check the other side for the fuel tank. So for opening the fuel tank, if the car is unlocked, just press this button, it's going to open and the fuel tank capacity of this car is 65 liters. That is decent for a C-Class. Now let's check out the rear. So now I'm going to show you the rear of the car. So the height of this car is 55.7 inches. Now I'm going to get inside and turn on the rear lights of the car. So inside, put on the brake, pressing the start button, the car is on, full light with the hazard. This is with the reverse, so when the car is in reverse, the reversing camera comes out and the mirror slightly adjusts. So I'm going to turn on the parking cameras, so the reverse camera comes out. So now if I come back of the car, the rear lights are fully LED and then you can see this is your hazard and this is your rear fog light and this is the reversing light. Rear lights are fully wrap around and it has a nice exterior look to it. On the C-Class, you can open the hood with this because there's only a reversing camera here with the Mercedes-Benz star, nothing else. You have the C200 badge and that's pretty much it. If you come down, you have two reflectors on either side and six sensors down here with a number plate slot and your AMG line rear bumper with a functional exhaust tip here and hopefully a functional exhaust tip here. Yes, I was right, there's two exhaust tip on this car. Now let's check out the boot space. So for the boot space of the car, I have to open the boot with the key and you have 360 liters of storage if the roof is up. But if the roof is down, it is stored here. So the roof is right here, so you can't actually put anything, but this is how much storage you have. If we check out the underfloor storage, this is how much you have with your tire repair kit and your front tow hook. That's pretty much it for the back of the car. So if you're looking for a convertible, you can't get that much boot space, but you have decent, like you have some netage area. This is for folding down the seats. So if I just press this and do it for the other side again. So this, and then I have to come through here, get the seat belt out of the way and fold. Come on that side, get the seat belt a little bit here and then fold this one too. So that's it, how much you get that much storage. And now let's check out the interior. So now let's get inside, but before that, you have to close the boot from here. You have a rear reflector, and this is a button to get this up. So you can put a maximum amount of storage, but for that, the roof has to be up. If the roof is down, you only have this much amount of storage. So now let's close the boot and then let's get to the rear seats. But before that, this is your upper stop brake light and you have two speakers up here and this is fully leather like real leather now let's get on to the rear seats so for that i have to do after first press this get this like this and then it's going to automatically go front and i have to get the seats back up 
there and then come through that other side and get that one up. There I'm going to get this down so you can see how much leg room I have when I sit inside. And let's get inside then. Ugh. So, rear seat, if you, if a kid sit inside and if the roof is down or an adult sit inside, if the roof is down, you have enough headroom and enough legroom. Like I can sit here for like a short amount of journey. You have two cup, three cup holders here and Isofix anchor points down here. That's amazing. You have a little armrest with your speaker and you have cup holders on either side. If you're a politician and you wanna, you know, do that thing, you can take this car because you can stand here and do your thing. Bruh. You have two AC vents back down here and this is for closing it or opening it. That's pretty much it. So now let's get into the front. So let's get this up and it's automatically going. It takes some time, but it does the work. And now let's open my door and here we come out. Get my seat back down. Come on. and then do it for the passenger side and get into the front of the car. Now let's show you the front seats. So now let's start with the dash of the car. So you have black leather with white stitching and an airbag right here. This is your AC vent and you can close it and open it through here. This is your lockable glove box with decent amount of room and a light. Now let's come to the seats. So on the convertible of the car, you get these seats as uh, standard. These are bucket seats and these are in red. That is optional extra. You have the air scruff here. So when you have your roof down from here, hot air is going to come in and you can see the fans from the back of the headrest. And the seats are 12 way adjustable for the passenger and the driver and heated. But if you want ventilated seats, it's optional extra. And another cool feature of this car, the seat belt things. So these are flush, but when you close the door, these come outside. So for that, I'm going to just use my powers there. So it's easier to open the seat belt. Now let's show you the center console. So first of all, you have a glove box down here. So if I just press this, you have decent amount of room, two USB and a SD card slot. And then you have some buttons here. So for that, I have to turn on ignition. So this is for if you want to close all the windows at the same time. So now all the windows closed at the same time. Or if you want to roll down all the windows. So there. And then there's another cool feature. So when you're driving, your hair is getting messed up and you know, stuff like that. You can just do this. So, give me a second. Oh, sorry. The car is on ignition. So if I just do this, you can see there's an air scruff down there and there's a little spoiler down here that goes up so no air comes to your hair and disturbs you. You can just drive easily with the roof down. So cool. Now I'm going to get it down again so there you can see it flops back down and the rear scruff is also back. Now this thing. This is your main controller, your civil wheel, shortcut buttons and your touchpad system. This is for your driving modes, your parking sensors off, and your parking cameras. So for that, this is your reversing camera and reversing camera and your parking sensors because it doesn't get a surround view camera. This is for your auto start stop feature. This is for actually the seat belt thing. So I'm going to get my seat down. Just give me one second. So if you guys see my seat belt behind, if I just press this button, it comes back up. So I could just easily wear my seat belt. Then you have another button for turning off the infotainment system and the volume. This nice wooden treatment, press this, two cup holders, a wireless charger, and a USB for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have shortcut buttons here like navigation, radio, media, and you get a Mercedes-Benz watch. You have telephone, vehicle settings, and hazard, and these are your AC controls with your three AC vents. Now let's show you the main infotainment system. So now let's show you this infotainment system. This is 10.3 inches. When you turn it on, it does a Mercedes-Benz logo and written. And then if I start up the car, it fully turns on. So first, let's go back to home. So first you have navigation. So you can see the earth and you can see we're in Bangladesh. 
then you have radio, you have media like Bluetooth, you have telephone for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And if I just go back, you have in-car office, you have contact, and then you have vehicle. So if you go on vehicle, first of all, you have dynamic select. So for controlling your individual, so individual mode, if you want to control it, like what you want for drive, comfort, eco, sport, manual. So I just want it to be eco, steering to be sport, traction control to be sport plus. So now if you just put it to individual mode that I'm going to do it right now, so you can see individual there. And now I can just drive it in individual and the steering actually has a weight to it so I can feel it. Bruh, the Mercedes-Benz tech is really good. Then you have assistance, so all of your safety systems of the car. Then you have consumption, your light settings. So you can control all of the ambient lighting on the car. So you have 64 different colors. Let me just show you that. So you can see 64 different colors. And let's put it to something that's bright for the night. I have to turn on the headlights, I guess. So, because it's morning, I can't show you the ambient light, but you can see it here, kind of. Then if I go out of here, you have vehicle settings, your digital owner's manual, and that's pretty much it. Let's go back to home, and then you have system. That's it for the infotainment, very easy to use if I show you the reversing camera again. So you have adaptive guidelines with the camera, and this is for your parking sensor thing. And now, if we go up, this is your rear view mirror that is auto dimmed and has two reading lights down here. That's very helpful. Then you have your SOS emergency and call me. Sunglass holder here because you do need shades when you have a convertible car, especially on Bangladesh. This is for turning on all the lights or off when you open the door. In Bangladesh, when you drive a convertible, you get more attention than anything. Like a convertible is like top notch thing in Bangladesh. Now, let's check out the steering wheel. So the steering wheel is fully leather strapped. It's tilt telescope and it's poweredly adjustable. So if I just want to adjust it, there it comes to me. It goes back, it goes down, it goes up. It does those all cool features. These are the controls for the main infotainment. These are the controls for this. And this is for your cruise control with aluminum paddles. That's nice. This is your main gear knob. So drive down, reverse up, neutral at the center, and this button for park. And on the other side, you have the hazard and the high beam. And then down here, this is your steering wheel controller. Now let's show you the main instrument cluster. So when you unlock the car and you get in, it does a nice animation. If you just press on the start button once, it does a cool animation with the grill and the headlights. And then you have your main digital display. Now I'm going to start up the car. So there. So you can control it through three different modes so if I just go and displays and style so you have progressive the you know sporty version you know then you have classic and then you have sport I really like the sport because you have your rpm here that shows the red line is six and a half thousand and you have your power eco charge down here and then on the other side you have your speedo the top speed is 160 mile per hour this is your uh, fuel gauge this is for cruise control, active or non-active. This is the outside temperature time. It shows ready. This is for the headlights. This is in kilometers. So it uh, converts for you and this is in miles. So I'm going to put it back to classic or progressive actually. And that's pretty much it for controlling some more features like what you want in the center. You can control telephone, media, radio, navigation, trip or assistance. So I'm just, I just keep it on assistant for the consumption of the car. And then when you turn it off, it does a thing with the Mercedes-Benz logo and it turns off. So you have an AC vent first of all here with your closer and opener. And then you, this is your headlight controls. This is for your fog. This is for your instrument cluster brightness. This is your startup button, parking brake. Then you have your Mercedes-Benz written here that illuminates. You have your lumbar seat controls right here. You have your boot release here. This is some bottle holders. These are your window controls. This is exterior mirror control, lock, unlock, and this is your door handle. This is your seat control with memory seats, heated seats, and your air strap and your speakers. That's pretty much it. So now I'm going to get the key and let's exit the car because we are done. So if you like this review, make sure you hit the like button. 
don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you want to see next in the future at Avi Trading because you already know they are the best in the game of the European car dealerships of Bangladesh. So I'm going to link their Facebook page at the description box if you need this 2020 Mercedes-Benz C200 or if you need a E53 Cabriolet. Until then, stay safe, stay home. Inshallah, see you next time. Peace.